What do these three video clips have in common? They are all examples of work. Work occurs when a force causes an object to move in the direction of the force. Work transfers energy from one object to another. Let's take a look at an example. Force is being applied to the bowling ball by the bowler. The force is applied in the direction that the bowling ball is moving. When he releases the bowling ball, he will no longer be doing work because he can no longer apply force to the bowling ball. Applying force does not always result in work being done. Imagine you are trying to push a car. You push and push, but the car won't move. Because there is no movement, there is no work that is done. As soon as the car moves, work is being done. Two things must happen for work to be done on an object. The object must move as the force is applied, and the direction of the object's motion is the same as the direction of the force. Let's take a look at a couple of examples and non-examples. You can calculate work by multiplying force applied to the object by the distance, which is also called displacement, that the object moves. The formula equals W equals F times D. Work is expressed in joules, which is the amount of work done by a force of one newton acting through a distance of one meter. I have a video where I calculate basic work problems. There'll be a link below. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.